So I just got done reading Hunter Hunter's Chimera arc and it actually made me realize how much I secretly love furries. Like the way the media portrays these fuzzy abominations is honestly unfair. I think furries are pretty all right. But then a Bloodline ad popped up on my YouTube feed again and immediately that unbridled rage I had for furries boiled up inside me. I was just starting to like furries and then this stupid fucking mobile ad just ruined it. It's gone, I hate him now. We're all aware of the sexy orange fox that's been plagued within YouTube's algorithm. But what if I told you there were others lurking around? Yes, there are more of these things. They're everywhere. You know, YouTube likes to promote a safe, friendly environment away from the uh, the inappropriate stuff. Like, that's the direction they want to go, right? But uh, I'm seeing something a little different from these Bloodline ads. Today, I'll be ranking the Bloodline ads from worst to best. Or I guess in this case, best to worst. Whatever fucking ad makes me cringe the most takes number one spot, so let's just put it that way. But before before we begin, let's have a word from our sponsor. Bloodline is a mobile game ad that allows you to dive into your greatest fantasies. You can roleplay as a princess, a warrior, or a filthy slave. There's lots of customization options that'll take you hours to fiddle with. It's totally different from the other piece of shit mobile games out there and provides an environment of creativity. Please download the game, you definitely won't regret it. Alright, on the list. Hello everyone, I'm Kyle and welcome to the latest in our clan introduction series. At number 9, I have the Bat Furry. This one makes me cringe the least because it looks like it wasn't made last minute. You know, there's some detail in there. Does this look like a, a deviant art OC basic bitch design? Yeah. But at the very least, it doesn't turn on the monkey part of my brain, so it gets a pass. At number 8, we have a Poison Ivy ripoff. This one's also pretty low on my list because, uh, for one, it's not a furry. The art's not rushed. I mean, there's nothing more to say. It's just a blatant Poison Ivy ripoff. I, I have nothing else to add. We're not quite yet at turning on the monkey part of my brain, but I will say you get a zero in the creativity department. <laughs> I don't know how this game goes from shittily AI generated furry pictures to just ripping off Batman villains. Now besides this lacking creativity, the real issue is that it's Harley Quinn, and Harley Quinn by herself makes me cringe. Not to the point where I'm hearing the DK theme song in my head, but uh, modern day Harley Quinn sucks. Like she... <laughs> She's fucking awful. I liked her in the in the 90s Batman animated show. That was a good portrayal. I think it was actually her debut. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, she looks like a Hot Topic villain character, and uh, yeah, that's kind of why she's lower than Poison Ivy. Not as bad as a furry, but still pretty bad. At number six, I have the uh, the two orange foxes, the classic, classic sexy foxes. I have them tied because they look exactly the same. They're pretty much dressed the same way. I mean, YouTube is throwing a fox's pussy uh. within their algorithms. <laughs> uh, there's not much more to say. It's kind of disgusting. The bunny here, or rabbit, whatever, is dressed exactly like the fox. So why is it lower? Well, it's giving me flashbacks from when my ex-friend sent me a Rule 34 Judy Hopps comic, and uh, I immediately blocked that fucker and never talked to him again. This one takes the number four spot because of how unsubtle it is. Oh, and by the way, we're, we're definitely in uh, ape shit territory. The monkey part of my brain has been going on for quite a while. But I just like how they zoom in like in all the sexy parts of the of the wolf girl. This is what YouTube loves to, loves to show off in their algorithm. Can't get enough of fuzzy banana, uh. thank you. At number three, we have a collage of four different furries. I believe they're all supposed to be foxes. The one in the bottom left looks a little different. But what disgusts me is that two of them are wearing clothes, while the other two on the right are wearing more provocative clothing. But the fact that the other two are covering their bodies implies that nudity does exist in this, uh, in this bloodline lore. So again, this is nudity. You're showing me nudity on YouTube. I don't appreciate that. My son goes on this website. Okay, obviously the, the actual design itself is bad. It looks like they put uh, a wolf in the Slave Leia outfit. That's fucking gross. Um, but what made me want to put this in the number two spot is what the, uh, the furry wolf is saying. I won't bite unless you want me to. <coughs> this one's a video with very obnoxious narration. Oh, cool. I've got the five Vulpen brothers. Let's try them out. Oh, come on. <sighs> <laughs> and footage of the gameplay, which is utter shit. Well, now I'm thinking about it, it's not that horrible. Like, the gameplay looks really boring, but at least I'm not looking at furries being sexualized. Oh, God! 